Hey guys, Nestor Gamer here. I am really excited to play this new game. It's Subnautica. So, I've seen Markiplier and Jacksepticeye play this game, and it looked really interesting. But also, my friend uh, Nico from the uh, Redcraft server showed it to me before, but we weren't going to get it until it came out uh, for two players. But, I thought it looked cool and I thought it'd be, be kind of fun. But, instead of just doing survival, you know. I want to try something different. I don't know much about this game except for what you know Jack and uh, Marcus done. So I want to do a hardcore series. So I only have one life. I have no idea what to expect. So this series is gonna be me doing hardcore and see how far we get. So completely blind. I don't know much. I might look up some recipes or you know stuff later. But I'm kind of just going blind. Hey guys, we're back. So. Sorry about that quick little skip there. I forgot it, it, when I uh, went, when I hit play, it would uh, take a second to kind of adjust, and the game kind of stopped recording. So that was my bad. I was an idiot. But on the other hand, oh, so you get like random stuff in this chest. Last time I got uh, like two batteries and a few other things. All right, cool. So, um. So, so as I was saying, I did a bit of this on my own before, but didn't really get too far. I just decided to uh, just now to do like a hardcore series, you know, kind of it, 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 it might be fun, and kind of interesting. So I only have one life, so I need to be really cautious. I'm also terrified, not of like the ocean or water. I'm terrified of stuff being around me and kind of being helpless, and that's what this game is gonna kind of offer. It's gonna make it so I'm kinda at the mercy of the water. And that scares me to, to no end. Like, I am terrified of that. But let's, uh. Exit and take a look around. So. Huh! Oh, okay. For a moment, I was gonna say there's no ship, but okay, so there is still a ship. I don't know if it blew up yet or not. Let's gather some, some of these air sacs. So from watching the, from watching Markiplier and stuff, I know that these air sacs provide water, which is obviously important. So my plan is just to see how long I survive for, and to kind of maybe establish a base or something like that. We'll see. Uh, as I said, I don't know much about this game. I I know very little. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation. Okay. First off, though, I'm, I'm gonna mute her. Mute. Uh, can I not mute her? Uh. Hmm. Guess I can't mute her. That sucks. Alright. We're, we're just gonna have to deal with her talk. Continuing to monitor. So I think I need to make a radiation suit so I can go near the, the uh, ship. What's that? That's weird. I don't like it. And I think to do that, I need lead, which takes silver and copper. And I need, uh. Oh! Like Mario! Salt. Quartz. Now I'm not sure where to find lead. I mean, uh, silver. I think it might be in the uh, vine area, but I'm not positive. I have noticed though that the uh, lady is not popping up as often, so maybe she doesn't like. And they constantly harass you when you're about to drown. Oh, that's a pike. Stay away from the pike. That's another pike. Stay away from them. I I know they're called stalkers, but they they look like a uh oh, I can't th think of their actual name, but they're like a they're pikes with like longer noses. And they have like armored type skin. 
Uh, I need a nose pike or something like that. I've uh, caught one before, and we, like when I, when I was fishing, we caught like a baby one that was like about the size of my pinky. It was really like really small, and it was kind of cute. Uh, can't remember like what they're actually called, like their actual name. Sorry about the awkward, awkward pause. I had to sneeze. Um, I'm kind of feeling like under the, the weather. My head's been sore. My jaw's been achy. Nose's been stuffy. I'm kind of feeling tired and drained right now. But hopefully, you know, it won't be too bad. I'll be able to play. But if I have to like stop the cough or sneeze or something that kind of happens, then I apologize. Uh, so, but my goal with the, like, not just like Minecraft, like, I mean, uh, not, not my, Minecraft, uh, Subnautica, and like all my other series, is I want to make it so it's not cut. You know, I don't want to have a bunch of cuts in my video, but you guys think that I, I cut stuff out that was important. I want to end up having it so it's all 100% me playing the game. If you guys would rather have me edit this stuff, so maybe it, it, it's not as much as me just going around doing nothing important. So, ladies, shut up, please. Oh, that's scary. Oh, I don't know what that is. That spits out uh, explosive dudes. If the drive core is breached, oh Jesus, that scared me! Oh, get away, get away! Ow! That scared me. Don't. Now I lost self. I have no idea how to heal in this game. Why did I decide to do a hardcore run? I'm, I'm really dumb. Ugh. All right. Now we have one life. I have to make sure it counts. Hmm. I am am gonna gonna need to make a knife though. Can I harvest this? I cannot. Hmm. Where's my ship? There. But yeah, so 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 if you guys want me to you know edit this down, there's some stuff boring that's going on. Let me know and I will do so. I'm gonna try and keep the episodes around maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending like what's happening and like if I'm like tense, I'm not gonna just cut in between while be getting chased by something, because that would probably just get me killed. But uh, hello. But uh, and I see. Now here's the thing. You guys have been wondering, wondering like, why I pause all the time. I'm not good at multitasking. Or, I am at some things. When it comes to talking and trying to, you know, concentrate, I'm awful. So, right now, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate and, and swim and not drown and, you know, my, my brain just froze. I apologize. New creature, New creature. and. Okay, cool. Uh. So yeah, so when it comes to this, you know, the stuff like this, if you, if you guys don't want to see me craft a bunch of stuff, let me know and I'll just cut that out. Um, if you guys don't want to see me, you know, gather stuff that's not really needed, that's not like a huge adventure, that's fine. Uh, just let me know, but for now, I'll just leave everything in and you guys tell me what you guys want me to do with the series. Uh, I'm gonna make a dagger. I need rubber. Okay. Okay, tools, dagger. Now I need a scanner, so I just need a battery. Alright, I have an extra battery in here. Oops. Warning, local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. The quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one really? Can you just stop? Range. I I I understand none of that. There we go. Made a scanner. And air bladder. 
If a reaction produces lighter than air and gases for personal buoyancy. But okay. Let's go with some water. And I'll cook up some Gary. Cook up some Gary and some Peeper. Alright. Drink some water. Eat a Peeper. Gary. Okay, that should do for now. Actually, I should probably make up one more fish. I have another Gary, I'll just make that up. Okay. okay. Come on. Oh. I keep forgetting that I'm in the menu, so I can't... Like... Like, I'm in this menu, so I can't en enter my actual, like, game menu. Alright, so let's put, uh... Salt and copper in here. And my fish. All right. So let, let's work on a goal. So I have my knife, which so I'll set the one, a scanner two. My weather, I don't, I don't think I need to have that on me. So I'll put that away for now. Emergency. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Let's go watch the explosion. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, five four, four, three, two, three, two one. It's firework time, baby. I need a drink. Awesome. Also, in my uh, videos, you'll probably start seeing me use my cool, badass Pokemon water bottle. So, just uh, prepare yourself for that. Alright, so anyways, that was a cool explosion. Let's get, get, get back into my ship. Why, why do I even leave the ship? Why do I even explore? You know, this place is cozy. I don't really have a bed, but I can kind of curl up on the floor here. Just... Maybe I should make a bed. But, anyways. Uh, what was I doing? I made some more food. I ate the food. Um, I started everything. Oh yeah. So I guess... I should make the uh, tank, which takes titanium and glass, which I have, actually. Enter here. Take out the glass. Take out the titanium. Uh, personal equipment, O2 tank. Alright, so this will allow me to breathe more underwater. Uh, the fins translate vertical limb movement underwater to forward thrust. I have no idea. Um, a oh, first aid kit. Creep fine samples too are in bleach. How do I make bleach? To make bleach, I need salt and common coral sample. I don't have a lot of salt. Alright. So I guess we'll go back into the water and look around. Thought, thought, I thought I heard something attacking my boat. So we definitely need creep vines. Coral. I, I cut the coral later. What is that thing? Scatterbug. That thing is new.
Hey, I need air. Come here so I can scan you. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it scares me. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more salt. Salt has been kind of rare. So. What else can I work on in the meantime, since salt is rare? Um... Pipes. I, I guess I can start working on a base. Is there something that I can use to actually create a base? Flyable, mobile vehicle, beacon, waterproof locker, and... Hmm. Okay. That's actually makeable, I think. Hmm. That could be useful for navigation. I guess for now I need to try finding the silver so I can make lead. Uh, yeah, silver. I almost hit the X. Silver and salt. Well, dive it in. So where's the creep vine? The ship is towards that one. So why do you go away from it so I don't get killed by radiation? I think there's a sea moth over here. I'll scan this. Phone. Okay, looking for a creep vine forest. There's one. Okay. Now I believe silver is in the creep vine forest, but I'm not positive. I have to take a look and be careful. Hmm. Okay, there's a pike. Eye out for the pikes. N another pike. He might see me. He does not. Okay. This is a lot scary when you only have one life. Okay. Let's get some air. Go back down. Okay, here's some limestone deposits down here. Wish I could swim faster. I am so scared right now, dudes. Swim up.
I, I didn't get any uh, silver there. Ah, uh, man, this is so scary. Silver! Yes! More silver. Okay. That, that rock there looks like a man kind of humped over. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. I got some silver. I got, uh... Uh, some copper. I'll swim back. And we'll, uh... Take that radiation suit. Oh, there's two here. That's really convenient, actually. Those pike are kind of scary, though. But they don't seem to have like a really far like aggro range. I feel, I feel like you have to get like really close to them. Okay. Go on in. Okay. Where am I? Go any copper I have. Got the silver, got the copper. Resources, the material, I need lead. Now go to uh uh equipment. Oh, I need more lead. Okay. Had the silver, I don't have the copper. So let's put the lead away. Make some drink make some juice up. Actually, is there any fish in here that I can eat? Just air sacks, okay. Water. And put the air sack in the food. Anyway, guys, this will, uh, you know, conclude this episode. Next episode, I'll go after some more silver and we'll, uh, See what else we can discover. So until then, uh, good to see you guys for watching. Have a nice day.